One, I've always loved Roland Emmerich. I love his movies. I think fans really love his movies. It's, they're always, you know, crowd pleasers. Um, I think people have, you know, found comfort in some weird way in watching these disaster, big disaster movies and realizing that, you know, mankind can actually save the day. They like to see themselves reflected in those kinds of stories. Um, I really loved when Roland came to me and said, hey, I have this idea, I've got this part, it's written for a, a white man or a man, and I would love for you to inhabit the role. And when I found out that it was the head of NASA and she could be portrayed as a black woman, I thought that's really cool and I think that's really important, you know, that we see ourselves as black people and especially women reflected in that way. Um, and I think I've always had a fascination, you know, with, um, with space and the moon. I'm very into astrology, and so the moon plays a big part in you know, astrology and on our, the gravitational pull on us as human beings. And so just to have a chance to explore this world and be a part of you know, a big disaster movie like this, I've never been a part of that and I've always wanted to be. Um, so there were many reasons for me to say yes. Here's what's most impactful to me about this movie. It's everything, <laughs> because when you work on a movie like this, you sit in a, you know, a small space, and in our case, it was like a small space shuttle, and we look outside of our windows, and there was nothing but blue and green screen every day. So to finally see the movie in all its entirety, in all of its bigness, and realize what Roland Emmerich had inside his creative mind, and see how he brought that to life, was just amazing. The whole thing was a spectacle. I, I will say I was most excited to see what the inside of the moon would look like per Roland Emmerich. Like what, from his point of view, what would that look like? And that was pretty exciting. I was waiting to see that because he tried to describe it while we were shooting and and just none of us understood it. We, none, none of us got what it would actually be. So it was cooler because we were in a real space shuttle. You know, that was the one um, sense of reality that I guess we really had. You know, this was a real space shuttle that had really flown in space before, so all of it was real. And there was a feeling of, you know, okay, we're really, we're really doing this thing. <laughs> like, you know, and I think we held on to that sense of reality because everything else was, was either fake or, or non-existent. I loved working with Patrick Wilson and John Bradley. Um, I hadn't met either one of them before this experience. I had only been fans of their work. Patrick I saw in Midway, the movie he did with Roland before this, and John Game of Thrones. He was, um, I think, one of the most beloved characters on that series. So to you know, now get to be stuck with them in a tiny shuttle was um, a pleasure. And, and it was fun. You know, We were shooting in the beginning of the pandemic, and so the sad part about working with them was we didn't really get to hang out and do what actors normally do, chop it up all the time, go to dinner, have lunches, you know, spend hours talking to one another. We had to be very isolated from one another to stop the, you know, spread of the of COVID around our set, but what that did was when we did get in a space together and we could take our masks off and we could see each other's face, we um enjoyed that experience so much more because we knew that we only had a little bit of time to experience each other that way and so we made sure that you know we we, we soaked up all of those minutes um, when we did get to be together and we talked about everything from MMA fighting to our favorite foods to our favorite books to what we believed about this conspiracy spirit um, conspiracy of the moon you know, to our children, our family, you know, like we got deep really fast in a short period of time, which is what we do as actors. You know, I absolutely loved working with Roland. I loved um, his sense of confidence, you know, as he should. I mean, nobody does these films better than Roland Emmerich. And um, I loved just the way in which he approached it. You know, he made us, especially me, feel very comfortable you know, in this genre, he, if we ever had a question, 
What I loved about him is he would just say, oh, this, it's going to be fine, don't worry, it's, it's, it's all good. You know, he would, he would put us at ease if we, if, if we didn't understand something. He made us really feel like he had it under control. And, you know, that was comforting because nothing was there. And so we had to believe that at the end of the day, you know, it was all going to be there and all be there in the right way. And I really, I really loved that. And he was also funny. He was always saying something ridiculously funny that would always sort of lighten, lighten the mood on the set, which I think was very important as we're working in the middle of the pandemic. I did Moonfall, right? It was the first film I did after I directed my own film. So um, I certainly saw the job of Roland Emmerich uh, with new glasses. You know, I now understood what it was to uh, lead an entire crew and cast of actors over the finish line and tell a story. And never again will I go on a set and question a director and say, why are we shooting it in this order? <laughs> that was a constant question I used to always have. Now I get it and I will never ask that question, ever again. <laughs>